a chop shop busted. Police say an anonymous tip led them straight to this crime scene. And let's get right over to Roy Ramos. He's live at that scene with the rest of the story there, Roy. Yeah, Christy and Louie, still several detectives out here working to find out exactly how many vehicles were stolen. They say some of these vehicles that you can see parked in front of this shop right here were shipped out of the country in their entirety. Others were stripped down and sold for their parts. One Audi, we have a Mercedes, two BMWs, and a Cadillac Escalade. Nearly a half dozen high-end vehicles okay. parked outside a strip of warehouses in Opelika, but this is no dealership. Investigators with Miami-Dade and Opelika police say this was a chop shop operation running out of three vacant units where the suspects weren't paying rent. At least five stolen rides discovered by detectives, but Opelika Police Chief James Dobson said there are likely several more. There are some vehicles that are chopped in parts. That's why I said there may be more vehicles here. Chief Dobson said his department received an anonymous tip two weeks ago, and that's when they began their joint investigation with Miami-Dade Police. Talk to me about that tip. What did this person say? Basically, they just called in and said that at this address, there's possibly stolen vehicles that's being shipped. Police say a business operating under the name Caribbean Shipping and Transport was either parting out the vehicles or shipping them in their entirety out of the country. From above in Sky 10, we watch as officers arrive today. While on the ground, they arrested two men, but they expect more arrest will follow. We think that the two here are just possibly just employees, so the investigations are going to continue moving forward. As we come back out live, you can see that property manager in the white T-shirt right there. I did get a chance to speak with her and ask her about the suspects that were operating out of those two units. She said she had no idea because every time she would drive by them, the doors were closed. Now, investigators do believe they will find several other stolen vehicles. This obviously a developing story.